It looks like we finally have some updates about the reboot of Power Rangers. Let's talk about it, break it down. Hit that intro, Rangers. You are watching the fan club. You're watching the fan club. And you're watching the fan club. Do you know what time it is? And you know what time it is. It's time for the fan club. Let's go. Hey! I can't do this on my own. Cause you know things ain't always sweet. When you out here in these streets. But my morph will win it more. I made a fake. What's going on everyone? Welcome to the fan club. It's your boy Braz, Dan Brosnan in the building. Now we're very excited to talk about this topic today because we finally have some type of information about the reboot. Now we have to shout out Jin Saku. He put up this information on Twitter or X or whatever you call it these days. Now this guy has been right before. He has his sources, but I don't know if any of this is real or not, but we are going to talk about it. Now, most likely where there's smoke, there is a fire. If Jin is talking about it, he must have heard something. We will see what happens, but let's talk about what Jin had to say. Breaking. Hasbro and Netflix is prioritizing the Entwistle work on concluding the Power Rangers script now that the writer's strike is over via Hasbro representative. It's also stated that work has started as soon as yesterday. The current state of the new series is... The Edward Hill movie script has been tweaked and turned into the first two episodes with the third act cut to extend the series. Interesting. So they turned the movie into a TV series. Ha, ah, that makes sense. We'll talk more about that, but let's read what else he has to say here. The current roster will be a female red, a Green Ranger is the leader of the group, maybe Tommy? An LGBTQ male ranger, either blue or yellow. Colors are green male, red female, blue male, yellow male, and pink female. It was originally MMPR core colors, but later black got switched for green to make green leader and the focus of the show. Next year is still set to be a hiatus year, but still expect casting and filming news. There's also a good chance E1 is still involved due to contract obligations before the Lionsgate acquisition. Okay, there are a lot of things. First of all, we have to start off with the great news is that they're prioritizing the ant whistle work. They're getting to work and work could have started as soon as yesterday, meaning that they're back in the room writing the rest of this series and they have two episodes ready or written at least, right? Is it going to be like an eight episode series, a 10 episode series? What is going to happen here? And then our ranger. So we have a female red, but she's not the leader. The green ranger is going to be the leader, which is awesome because you don't see that a lot. Even in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Tommy wasn't the leader when he was green. Jason was. I don't really mind there being an LGBTQ ranger that's supposed to be a more adult show anyways. I'm cool with it. I like the color scheme though. Green male, red female, blue male, yellow male, and pink female. It has like MMPR vibes, but there is no black ranger. I think it's cool and I hope that they get away from MMPR, even though that is such a hardcore seller and they make money. It is so hard to make something new and compare it to the old. It's just going to be ripped apart. I don't want to see the 2017 movie all over again. It would be awesome to see new characters and new suits in their own universe, but maybe see some familiar faces. That is what Jonathan Entwistle was talking about in the past. And something that really excites me since we are a Power Rangers news channel is it is set to be a hiatus year next year in 2024, but we will have casting and filming news. 
that is freaking awesome we're gonna at least have some type of news to hit you with next year and make some videos off of we're not gonna stop and it doesn't look like we're gonna stop getting news so let's go that puts a smile on my face and then the last thing we had to talk about which makes this a little crazy is the whole e1 sale so we know that Lionsgate purchased e1 but we know that not all of the big ips are going over like your transformers your gi joes your power rangers those are sticking with hasbro and hasbro announced that they're opening up their own entertainment division and studio if you will and they're going to be making stuff it's probably going to be smaller than what e1 has and now that's going over to Lionsgate. i'm interested to see what is going to happen will e1 and the hasbro crew still technically work on this since they were in contract for these people to work on it or will it get floated over to Lionsgate in the acquisition there are so many freaking questions and now is the time for you guys to let me know what you guys are thinking how do you think 2024 and 2025 are going to go what do you think about this jonathan at whistle reboot what do you think about what we have heard so far do you like it do you not like it let me know in the comments and i have to shout out all of the fans out there that take the time out of their day to watch this content you are the real mvps and the reason why we can continue to make videos like this one so thank you guys so much again and we will see you next time rangers peace i want to give a special shout out to the gold ranger members anime king nick chaos draco the arctic operator dig wyron tim rage roderick hare miguel ortiz let's talk sports papleon oger roderick ham jason marazis willie maloney lewis cairns salima ramirez Danny Nascimento, Skurd, Stephen Heffelman, Thomas Franco, Savage Sal, Tim Brown, Sean Schiffer, The Cosmic Nerd 24, Bruce Walters, and Austin White. Thank you guys so much for your support. And if you want a video shout out like this one, sign up to be a Gold Ranger member today. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this content, you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. You can also become a member please join the fan club support team right now we have a blue ranger power up and a gold ranger power up this is an awesome way to talk with the fans join a fan club official chat group you can also be featured in our videos at the end of the videos i will shout you out that's if you get the gold ranger power up membership Go check it out. Go support the fan club. We love you guys, and thanks for watching. Peace. Hi. Hi. We're Bulk and Skull. We, we have are been requested, requested by, by the, the fan club to say something funny. <laughs>